Now today I'm going to discuss some final safety features and connections that need to be made for the safe use of these TMC drivers. Now I've already spoke about this switch that allows you to pass power to the RAMS board for both the V motor and the VIO simultaneously. So that's an important safety feature or we could damage the drivers due to unbalanced supply and parasitic supply. Another safety feature, you'll notice now that I've actually put the heat sinks on the uh, drivers. These drivers will uh, shut down if they're overheated. So that's a good safety feature of the driver itself. Now the next safety feature is getting diagnostic information from these drivers using the Diag pin. And the Diag pin on these particular drivers is this pin over here. Uh, but on your, if you have a different uh, version of this step stick breakout board, then your uh, Diag pin may be somewhere else. So I made this cable so we can connect the Diag pins of each of these drivers to the Arduino board. And in my software, I've written it so that you use um, analog inputs for this, although we will be using them as digital pins. And here's a close up showing the connection to the Diag pin. So now that we have these Diag lines connected to Arduino, we can monitor for stalling using the stall guard 4 system of the Trinamic drivers to protect the stage in case something gets in the way of it or in case one of the limit switches fails or we connect it wrongly. And it also allows us to detect abnormal states. So the Trinamic drivers will push the Diag pin high if there are problems such as driver overheating or if one of the motor cables comes loose or breaks for some reason or things like that. And finally, and very importantly, we need to wire up a kill switch. And I've done that with these two DuPont wires. So one wire goes to ground, and the other wire, the yellow wire, goes to digital pin two. And digital pin two will be configured as an input with an internal pull-up resistor. And if I zoom out, the other ends of these wires will go to a simple on-off switch, and I'll probably solder these on once I decide what switch to use. But essentially, that's what a kill switch looks like in hardware. So when the two ends of these wires are joined together by the switch, then digital pin 2 will be pulled to ground. I will read as low. And when the switch is open, these two are separate, and the internal pull-up resistor will pull digital pin 2 to high. And so this is how we implement the kill switch in software.